Are you ready, Greg? I guess. No, I mean, no, but sure. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For one um, minute. No. For one minute, uh-huh. you're going to make an argument oh, God. that you clean up nice is a compliment. Oh, you clean up nice. So you have to make an argument for why that is a compliment. Saying you clean up nice? Yeah. All right. Think you can do it? Probably not, but I'll try. All right. Your time will All begin. Right. <laughs> your time will begin when you start. Saying you clean up nice is absolutely a compliment. It does not in any way imply that before you get ready for an event or a dinner or a party that you look terrible. What it means is, wow, you put on a dress? That dress looks marvelous on you, and you should wear dresses more often. I never see you in dresses. You look so good tonight. Or if it's a gentleman, look at you in a tuxedo. You're so handsome. You look great. That's what all men hear at weddings. Wow, you should dress up more often. Men don't like to do it, of course, but it's not an insult by any stretch of the imagination. There's a lot of times I'll go a week without shaving, I'll go a week with wearing a baseball cap, and then we have an event coming up. I'll shave, get a haircut, try to clean up a bit, and somebody will say, wow, you clean up nice. I'm not insulted. I think take that as a compliment. I think thank you so much because it's not rude. You're complimenting somebody's appearance. Did they, would they rather hear that they look terrible or, wow, when you tried to clean up, kind of failed at that? No, they want to hear that that dress they just oh, picked man. up at Marshall's. One minute. Man, maybe he, he should have gone last. Marshall. God. <laughs> Menace, is, <laughs> Menace is right. You should have gone last. Yeah. You're really good at talking out of your ass. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I, I was so never, scared. I honestly, I don't know if we've ever had one that was that good. No, no. never. I wouldn't have been able to plus. like weave that together. <laughs> yeah. The brain capacity. Uh, that's right. scary. <laughs> you don't have the brain capacity, man. Yeah. No, no way. Got this. Okay. No, not what if it's like ravey, ravey, ravey. What if it's yes, fried please. chicken or something? Okay. Uh, <laughs> ravey. Yep. Let's see what I have here for you. Uh, let's go with this one. Parents who send sick kids to school. You, you make an argument on behalf of parents who send their sick kid to school. <laughs> That's a good idea. Time. That wait, okay. wait. So I'm arguing to send them to school? Yeah, that, that yeah, it's okay. That it's to okay. Send them. You are arguing okay. in favor of parents who send sick kids to no school. I have no idea how to go about that. That's it. In lies mm. the game. This is your yeah. Line. Yeah. All right, your okay. time will begin yep. whenever uh, you start. Well, I'm a member of this society, and in today's society, we are the most selfish, awful people on the planet. We, uh. as people, suck. And so, because we suck, I'm going to continue this trend of being a horrible, awful person, and I'm going to send my child to school when they are clearly sick. Because I don't care about you. I don't care about <laughs> anybody else. I don't give two craps. If your kid gets sick, why would I care? Because society sucks. I suck. I'm a horrible parent. So my kid goes to school. Get your kid the flu. That kid gets another kid the flu. Oh, maybe that kid will land in the hospital. Rip! Got that kid really, really sick. I don't give a crap because that's how we are today. I want my sick kid in school. Number one, because I hate them. And I hate myself because I had kids. Boy, did I just ruin my life having these kids. Why on earth would I want to keep my child in the house? Nice. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think she cheated a little bit because she, she made do? it about herself and yeah. not a good reason why you should send your kid. I think I, I sensed a touch of sarcasm. Yeah, a <laughs> tiny hit. A smidge? What? I thought that was an excellent argument. I, I and I didn't it was... make it about myself. I don't have kids. Okay, well, we get to vote at the end. We, right. We've heard two. You just held gel. Yeah, don't be held, Joe. That I pulled it off. Oh, All right, Menace, you're up. Yes. Oh, God, All right. why? You're going to make an argument. There's more people in the room. <laughs> you're going to make an argument for why being invisible would be better than being able to fly. All right. All right, so being invisible oh, that was a rule. would be better than being able to fly. Okay. People always talk about, like, oh, like yeah, what, what, what power, power would you, would you like to have or whatever. So to you, being invisible would be better than being able to fly. And you're going to tell us why. And your time will begin whenever you start. Being invisible would be way better than flying, okay? Because flying, we got airplanes, we have helicopters, we have other ways to get into the air, drones soon. 
Now, being invisible, uh, first off, boobies. You can see boobies whenever you want. <laughs> you could uh, maybe go into a bank and maybe come up on a couple extra dollars here and there. Also, if you see somebody down the hall that you don't want to talk to, guess what? You have the power to be invisible. So you don't have to see that person. You can go somewhere else. This would be Seabass's superpower. He would want this power more than flying, I believe, even though he flies every single weekend, that he would love to be invisible because he wouldn't have to talk to anybody. Also, being invisible would be great because you don't have to see family members. <laughs> you don't have to see anybody that you don't want to see. And you can enter rooms and like magic. You'd be like David Copperfield. You were like... Where'd you come from? Well, I was invisible, and now I'm not invisible. <laughs> wow, all right. Wow, okay. man. Not bad. I tried. I heard, Couple of I heard one uh. Two. I heard two. Yeah. I caught two. two. Ah, darn it. And there's also that little sea bass tangent. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Well, but that's, I mean, that's okay. But it was supporting the argument. Yeah, I mean, it mm -hmm. wasn't It wasn't like, you know. Oh, now we're, <laughs> now we're dissecting it for not being on topic? What you dissected mine? Yeah, no kidding. Why can't I did. Dissect yours? <laughs> I did. I just, I would, it's, look, I just made a couple <laughs> notes, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just a couple notes. It's all good. 